Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be another top five best and worst, and I'm going to be doing lipsticks, which I am so excited to chat about some of my favorite and then not so favorite lipsticks. I also did a top five best and worst with eyeshadow palettes, so I will leave that link down below. And with that video, everybody said that they wanted to see my opinions on the lipsticks. I had a tough time, not so much picking my worst lipsticks because that was pretty simple to me, but to choose five of my favorites and ones that I continually wear and really want to recommend, that was really hard. I think I started with 10 and I somehow narrowed it down to five. But I am super excited to share with you guys my top five best and worst lipsticks, so why don't we go ahead and get started. I'm going to do like what I did in the eyeshadow palette video. I'm going to skip back and forth between best and worst. I don't have a particular category, like it's I have liquid lipsticks in here, regular lipsticks, lip glosses, things like that, so I don't have a particular category. I'll be talking about both high-end and drugstore in both of the categories. If you guys are not new to my channel recently, you probably know that these were going to be in here. It is the the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. I just really do not like these. I did a full swatch video on them when they first came out and you could tell that I was seriously underwhelmed at this. I mentioned it in one of my makeup monthly videos and I put it in the fail category and when I was doing my most recent lipstick declutter I decluttered all of my shades. I did pass on quite a few of them. Formula was just not for me. I did not find it to be long wearing in the absolute slightest. I mentioned in one of my videos that I put it on to film a video and by the time I got done through that video it was completely worn off on the inner part of my lips like it just doesn't have any sort of long wear to me and I find them very streaky even some of the lighter colors because I've tried I think five different shades of these even the lighter colors are very streaky patchy I know a lot of people love these and when I say that I don't like them a lot of people are like you're crazy girl they are amazing and if they work for you that is fantastic and I'm super stoked for you because that's awesome, but unfortunately they do not work for me so they have to make it into the worst category. One of my favorite liquid lipsticks and what I'm wearing on my lips right now are the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I absolutely adore these. I have one in Bow and Arrow which is still in my travel makeup bag because I'm just getting home. This one was in my purse because like I said it is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This one is in Ludwig. I just bought this in the Sephora VIB sale because I knew I needed to pick up another Kat Von D liquid lipstick. The Bow and Arrow was just not cutting it anymore and I needed another one. So this one is a really nice nude pink and I absolutely love it. Um, I've only had this lipstick for three, four days. I think I've had the lipstick for four days and I've worn it three out of the four days. That is how much I love it. These are $20, so they are more expensive, but I find them to be absolutely amazing. I love this color. I was wearing it on Snapchat and immediately people started asking what it was. And I was like, usually I try to wait with my hauls if I am doing a big haul like the Sephora VIB. I try to wait before I dig into everything until I can do the haul video. But because I'm still waiting on one box, I'm like, I'm sorry. I had to dig into it. So this one is the Kat Von D Ludwig. I enjoy this formula. It's a thinner formula and it feels very lightweight on the lips. Like it doesn't feel sticky or heavy or drying or anything like that. Well, I wouldn't say this is my longest lasting liquid lipstick it still does last very long and especially if you pair a lip liner with the Kat Von D like if you line your lips and then fill them in and then put the liquid lipstick over it I think it looks amazing I wear them so much like I said bow and arrow is one of my absolutely favorite shades Ludwig is my new jam at this moment but the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipsticks I love these I know that I want even more shades. So I have a lip gloss that I also put in my declutter video because they are just not for me. They are the ColourPop lip glosses. I have a mini here. I got sent a mini because um, ColourPop messed up one of my orders and sent a couple mini lip glosses as like their apology. And they are just... Uh, they are just not for me. This shade that I still have is in Finders Keepers. I passed along the other one and I feel like these lip glosses swatch really well. Like I feel like that looks like a good lip gloss swatch. Like are you kidding me? Yeah, that looks great. But when I actually apply it to my lips and start to actually move the wand around, all of this pigment, like, like this nice mauve color that you see, it just goes away and it just kind of looks like I have a very, very light lip gloss on and I also found them to be very very sticky and you know if you lick your lips a couple times you've licked the lip gloss completely off like there's just no lasting power to it at all. I'm not a huge lip gloss person in general myself. Maybe if you just love lip glosses and what they 
and they are what you continually reach for maybe you would like this one but i can't recommend it i couldn't get it to work for me um i had two different shades and i tried them both and they just really did absolutely nothing for me color pop is pretty affordable i think these are like five or six dollars for like an actual like regular size um tube of lip gloss but still i decluttered both of them i don't i know i would never wear them so this had to go in my worst category. So another one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, I feel like I talk about these a lot as well, are the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. I am so upset because the Sephora VIB sale was just going on and Huda just released a bunch of new nudes. I mentioned it in my VIB sale recommendations video and my wishlist video and I said I was so excited. I was really wanting to pick up one of the new nudes. I mentioned Wifey from Huda that I wanted to get and I was so bummed to see that they've only released on her website so far. They haven't made it to Sephora yet. I was like, no! I didn't pick up another Huda lipstick in that haul because I'm really waiting for these nudes because I just feel like they scream me. But I can't wait to get them because I love this formula. This is one that I don't think is going to be for everybody though and I'll explain why. This formula of liquid lipstick is super, super liquidy. It's very, very thin on the lips, but I find it to be super comfortable, very easy to work with, easy to apply. I think it stays on for a very long time. The lasting power on this liquid lipstick, I think is fantastic. It can last me the whole night. I constantly reach for my Huda lipsticks. I have two shades so far. I constantly reach for them because I know if I'm leaving my house at 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to be out all night, I know these liquid lipsticks are going to last me. And if they do start to fade down, I can just put another layer over it. Like some liquid lipsticks are too like chunky and kind of like drying and cracking on the lips that when you try to reapply, you've just like gunked up your lips and you are not going to look very good anymore. Not with the Huda liquid lipsticks. I find I can easily reapply them. They can be a little bit sticky. Even after you've let them dry down for a little bit, they can be a little bit sticky. So if it bothers you, you probably wouldn't like that, but it doesn't last that way forever. I still really like them. One of my favorite formulas. Again, I'm just so impressed at how comfortable it feels on the lips and how long lasting it is. This shade that I have right now is in Trendsetter. Bombshell is the other shade that I have, which is a nude pink, and that one is still in my travel makeup bag. But this is Trendsetter. It's a gorgeous, I love these like nude browns. Oh, they're just nude browns, nude pinks, nudes, like those are my jam. Those are my color family and what I wear so much. And I just love this Huda one. I also love Bombshell and I'm super anxious to pick up a couple more liquid lipsticks. I'm always recommending these. These again are $20 a piece. So they are a little bit more pricey. I have little guys because I bought them in a contour set that came with a lip liner. I would have no problem spending the $20 for one liquid lipstick because I know it's worth it. So I would do it. So the next one that did not work for me is a liquid lipstick. This is from Giorgio Armani and these are called the Lip Magnets. This is a red shade. I think it's in 400 for all maybe. I can't remember and it doesn't say. There is the swatch and I don't know if you'd be able to tell from the swatch like on camera. I can tell as I put it on my hand. It just is not any sort of like a full coverage type of lipstick. It is very patchy on the lips. It's really hard to build up the color. I just, this just did nothing for me. And these are $38. And I do not find that price tag worth it at all. I got sent two different colors. These were sent to me from Influencer. Just for the price tag, I just definitely would not be able to recommend them. But even if it wasn't an expensive lipstick i just don't find it good anyways even if this was a drugstore lipstick like it's just not a good liquid lipstick i don't find them to be long wearing either and again just the application process is to me is just like a disaster so the giorgio armani lip magnets were just a no they're a hard pass for me are recent favorites of mine but since i've gotten them whoa Nelly, I have been impressed. I know a lot of people have been asking me about these because I did recently haul them and I've been getting asked my opinions on them and I'm super excited to put them in my favorite category. These are the Morphe Liquid Lipsticks. Okay, I feel like I don't hear a lot of people talking about these. I know the Morphe Liquid Lipsticks are a bit newer. They're not 
new new but they are a bit newer and I was kind of on the fence about buying them because I hadn't really heard anybody talking about them or using them so I'm like I don't know does that mean they're not good these are $12 I believe I bought them when I purchased the morphe 35r palette I picked up the morphe 35r palette and I grabbed some makeup brushes and I was like you know what I'm such a lipstick lover I love being able to try out different brands I'm just gonna grab a couple liquid lipsticks and see how I like them and I love them. I am obsessed with them. I love the colors I got. I got Peanut and then also Schoolgirl. Peanut is that brown shade as well that I absolutely love. I think I've worn Peanut in two different videos now. So there is Peanut. I know I just wore it in a recent one. And then Schoolgirl, I know I believe I wore this one in my dupes video. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. This one is Schoolgirl. I'm continually wearing them because I love them. This formula lasts a super long time. I was wearing peanut last night and I ate Chinese food and I had noodles and they were oily and I was eating crab ragu and I was drinking soda and I remember standing in the checkout line with my friend Ashley and she was like, your lipstick still looks really good. And I was like, it's Morphe. I love these liquid lipsticks and this is why it's because they last and they look so good. This is not a formula that I feel like you can build up because it's a little bit thicker. It's not super, super thick because I do not like really thick, really moussey liquid lipsticks, but it's still a thicker formula. It's not like Huda or Kat Von D at all. So you can't really build it up, but that's fine because you don't need to because they last, they'll last throughout meals. I'm super impressed with them. I love the colors that I picked up. I definitely want to get more of these. I believe they are around the $12 range and there's typically a discount code with Morphe. So I highly recommend these. Like I said, I feel like not a lot of people are talking about them and I don't know why because I feel like you guys should give these a try. So the next one I have might be a little bit surprising because I feel like a lot of people like these liquid lipsticks, but I don't. That's okay if I'm in the minority because it is what it is. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, I just don't like them. And I mentioned it in my declutter video because I have three of her liquid lipsticks. I talked about it in my declutter video and I was kind of going back and forth. And I think one of the things that was like upsetting me was that they're $20 a piece. You know, I bought all of these. I was like, I don't know, do I give them up? I decided to keep them. And then after I did my declutter video, I was like, you know what? I actually, I don't need all of these. So I threw Catherine into my little declutter bag um, to give away to someone. It's a berry color. This one is Catherine. This, it's the formula that I don't like because it's so thick and so moussey. It's so hard to apply. I feel like it's a mess. I, I don't have big lips, but I don't have small lips. I feel like I have pretty average lips. I don't know, but I feel like I cannot get a good application. And it's not that I feel like the wand is really big or like, you know, a really outlandish wand that you can't line your lips like good with, but it's because of the formula. It's just, it's so hard to apply it and it just, it does not look good. And I feel like it wears very quickly as well. But again, I just, I don't feel like I've ever worn an Anastasia lipstick and been like confident with my application and that's really sad to me and like I said these are $20 a piece so that is more expensive so I threw Catherine into my declutter pile and honestly I think I'm going to throw Ashton in there too because I have a lot of browns it's a it is a brown lipstick and I mean I just I have a ton of them and I just I don't feel like I need it that one is Ashton and so I think Dulce is really the only one that I'm going to keep and what I mostly use Dulce for like I think some of the only things I use Dulce for which is up here is to put in the center of my lips like if I want to do kind of like the ombre effect sometimes I have reached for Dulce but even putting this one all over my lips is just like it's just not good. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks, I'm just, me personally, I'm just not a fan of. Another favorite of mine that I feel like I have talked about a lot, and I've also been watching a lot of best and worst lipstick videos as I've been doing this video and seeing what other people are saying too, and I think I have seen this lipstick mentioned in like, I would say at least 85% of videos, but math is hard, so who knows what the actual percentage is. I don't know. But these are the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. These are fantastic liquid lipsticks and I feel like a lot of people know and a lot of people are recommending these. I have my shade in Stepping Out, which is that beautiful brown color that I love so much. And I do also have like a tester shade of a pink color that I can't recall the name of it right now, but it's just in like a little pink testing tube. It came from a Sochois box where you get like 
samples of um, higher end makeup. I've been able to try two different colors and I can confirm that I love this liquid lipstick and I think it is fantastic. This is my most long lasting liquid lipstick. If you want something that's going to stay on the entire day, it's the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. They are just fantastic. They really are. I absolutely love the shade and stepping out. These are $24, which is a little bit expensive. Like the Huda is $20 and the Kat Von D is $20. So at $24, they are a little bit more pricey, but they are also really good liquid lipsticks. So this formula as well, it's more on the thinner side. I don't know. I wouldn't compare it it's not liquidy like Huda, and it's not just like straight thin like Kat Von D, but it's not thick like the Morphe one. It's just kind of in between all of those. Not super moussey, but again, it's just super long-lasting and looks really nice on the lips. It does have a different type of applicator, but it's kind of nice how it comes to that point because you can really almost like even like line your lips too. It's just a really, really phenomenal liquid lipstick, one that I highly recommend. The last lipstick in my worst category is from Bronx Colors and it is the Legendary Lipstick. Bronx Colors did send me a package and let me test out a few of the products and you know I'm so excited about lipsticks. I pulled out the lipsticks right away to give them a try and unfortunately I just didn't really get along with them. Um, the shade I pulled out is an aubergine. So first off with the packaging it's kind of strange because you have to like click the top and then the lipstick slides out. So when I first got it, I was like, how do you, and I'm like trying to twist and trying to open it. And then these are what the lipsticks look like. And then again, the shade is aubergine, which I don't know, I mean, I'm sure that you can tell from the swatch as well. Hopefully the camera's kind of picking it up. It's not a very opaque lipstick. And again, it goes on a little patchy. This shade is darker, but I know I also tried a lighter shade and I think I just got rid of it right away. I don't even remember these being in my lipstick declutter. So um, I just was like not a fan right away. It was like half lip gloss, half regular lipstick. It just does not look very nice. And it's also like very messy. I mean, it's not a liquid lipstick. It, it, you know, it is more of like the cream formula, but even still, I find it like getting onto like my chin and things like that. I don't know. I just, we just did not get along very well. And when I look these up online, they're $9.50 for lipstick, which I don't think is like super cheap because you can get these at Ulta. This is considered more of like the drugstore brand. And I find that to be pretty pricey for a drugstore. Like the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick that I talked about, I think was like four to five dollars. And you know, there's good liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. I had the Jordana liquid lipsticks on my list at first, and those are like four dollars. Those are a good liquid lipstick. So for these to be nine fifty, like definitely not worth the price. But I was just super, super underwhelmed with the Bronx Legendary lipstick. So the final favorite lipstick that I want to talk about is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. Like I said, I had a lot on my list and what I really wanted to do when I was pulling my favorites was to pull the ones that I'm wearing the most that I, I have a lot of lipsticks. If you haven't seen my lipstick declutter, I'll leave it linked down below. I have a lot of lipsticks. I'm purchasing a lot of lipsticks. I get some packages from brands that send me lipsticks. I'm always feeling like I need to be trying new lipsticks. There is a handful of lipsticks that I always go back to. Sometimes I try to mix it up for the videos, but like when I'm going out and about, I'm constantly grabbing these lipsticks. And the five lipsticks that I mentioned in this category are the lipsticks that I'm constantly reaching for. And ever since I got this Marc Jacobs, it is one of the La Creme lip creams. Ever since I got this, I cannot put this down. I think I've worn it in like three different videos. I'm just obsessed with this. So this is a little sample guide because it came in with the most recent uh, Sephora Give Me Some Nudes collection. And I am so happy it did because even though I've been hearing really amazing things about this lipstick, it was not enough to get me to buy it because it's Marc Jacobs Beauty and it's more expensive. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to do it. So this is in the shade Slow Burn, which is totally my shade. And I absolutely love it and I think it's beautiful. For a full size, it is $30. That is super expensive to me for a lipstick. This is not a liquid lipstick, it's more of the creamy lipstick. So I don't think that I would have purchased this on my own had I not gotten this sample, and now I want more because I think they are fantastic. I would totally pay the $30 price tag for this. And even though that's hard for me to say, I would because I so strongly love this lipstick. What I like about it too is that even though it's the creamy lipstick, 
it will stay on your lips. Your lips will be pigmented. Like the shine will kind of wear away after a while. Like if you eat a meal, like sure the shine can kind of go away, but your lips are still going to be that color. They're still gonna be pigmented. It's still gonna look like you have a lipstick on. And you know, of course, because it's a creamy lipstick, it's super easy to apply. When I wear this, by the end of the day when you wear the regular lipstick, you know, it's usually pretty much washed away when you wash your face. It'll just like wipe right off. I have to take the makeup remover and actually remove it from my lips at the end of the day. I can't just do the simple wash off like I could with like a regular lipstick. Not this one. It has really good lasting power. It's very, very creamy, very pigmented, very smooth on the lips. I really like it. I'm very grateful it was in that nudes collection because I seriously don't think I would have done the $30 price tag. I just don't think that I would have done it. But now that I've tried it, I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm a believer in the Marc Jacobs Beauty Lamarck Cream Lipsticks. Yeah, big believer, big favorite, constantly wearing this. Okay, so that's gonna be everything for my top five best and worst lipsticks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. This was the video that actually won my Twitter poll. I usually post a poll on Twitter. I am at by Samantha March. I usually share a poll about once a month and let you guys vote on three different video ideas. And this was the video idea that won for the month of April. So thank you guys so much to everyone who voted. I was really excited to make this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So, you know, of course, if I mentioned a lipstick in the worst category and it's your favorite, that's amazing. Everybody is so different with makeup and what they like and what they wear and what they prefer. These are, of course, all of just my preferences and opinions, but I'm passing them along to you and you can do what you want with my opinions. And this is a judgment-free zone as always, so it's cool. But I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for requesting this video. Everything will be linked down below in case you're interested in any of the lipsticks that I mentioned. I do hope that you found this video helpful. I love watching these types of videos myself. Let me know what you want to see in the next top five best and worse. Like I said, I've already done eyeshadow palettes, so let me know what you'd want to see for the next one in this type of series. I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe before you go, and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye!